You know, it's sad to be able to see what is coming just as clear as if it were happening right in front of my eyes at this very moment. To be able to see it at a future time because I've studied these scum for so many years and I've watched what they have done in other countries to defeat their enemies and establish their socialist utopian slave market. And so I can anticipate and with a little research, a little listening, a little reading, I can pretty much tell you exactly what they're going to do whenever they're going to do it. And you all know that. Those of you who have been listening to me for all these years, you know that I have been consistently the only person in this country who has made accurate predictions each and every single time. And I'm telling you right now, it is sad. And it is frustrating to know that something is going to happen and not be able to convince people that it's going to happen and be able to stop it. Long before this wave of terror began in the United States, I told you over this radio broadcast that it would happen. I said that New York City, I was saying that before I ever had a radio broadcast, and it's on tape in every one of my lectures, I said New York City would be the first strike of terrorists in this country, followed by some place in middle America. Why? Because I know, like they know, that Americans have grown complacent over the many years. They don't believe that it could happen in this country. They want to disarm the American citizens, take away our weapons, so that we cannot oppose the tyranny that is coming. And to do that, they have to create terrorist incidents and crimes. And people who walk on the schoolyards and shoot great numbers of children and into shopping malls and McDonald's restaurants and if you'll notice, this always happens just before major gun control legislation is coming up for a vote. And you all sit around and really actually believe that's an accident? Are you insane? It's social engineering in the grand scale and the classic method. Karl Marx, Friedrich Engels, D.I. Lenin, Stalin, Fidel Castro, Che Guevara. If you don't believe me, quit sitting on your lazy butts and get out the history books and read it. It's all there and you can make the same predictions that I have made and continue to make and be absolutely 100% correct if you will just understand. He who does not study history is doomed to repeat it. That is the truth. 